still. Louise will eventually dig around till he finds out what happened all those years ago. We have to prevent that at all costs, Julian. I'm well aware of the dangers, Father. I'm just not quite sure what to do about it. I told you. Stop Louise. Get rid of him right away. Thanks for believing me. Do you know I never said those things about you? I didn't say that. What? Well, you just said that you believe me. I believe that you don't want things to be strained between us. And I don't want that either, but what am I supposed to do? How can I deny what I saw with my own eyes, what I heard with my own ears? I mean, do you even have any idea how many men I've believed in spite of my better judgment? Yeah, but I'm not... I've lived my whole life in denial. I can't do that anymore. But Sheridan, I'm not asking you to believe anything about anyone. I'm asking you to believe me. Oh. I made a promise to myself that I would never go against my better judgment again. That I would never believe someone's explanations over what I knew myself. Well, you're right. And you shouldn't. But it, it wasn't me that you thought you heard. It wasn't me. Then you have a twin running around somewhere because I know what I saw. I know what I heard. Well, you didn't see and hear you me. Know, this is so crazy. I mean, you are so adamant. You're so positive. I almost believe you. But I know what I heard you say. There is no mistaking it. Well, this is it. What do you think? It's, uh... It's all right. It's not really finished yet, but it's clean. Just need to get rid of some of those storage boxes. Well, I'll help you fix it up really nice, Chad. No, 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 no need for that. Like fine, just the way it is. Chad, I think this is the perfect place for you. I know you're gonna love it here. Yeah, yeah, it's great. For now. Well, I'll go get some more of your stuff. Oh uh, yeah, thanks. Okay, you wanna give me a hand here? I thought I'd stick around and see if I could help tidy up. Mm -mm. Whitney can do that. I need to talk to you. So it looks like you ain't getting rid of me after all. Oh, well, this place is very self-sufficient. You have your own kitchen, private entrance. There's no reason for us to see each other at all. Whitney, just lighten up, okay? I was just trying to make a joke. Oh, yeah, and it was so funny. You know, actually, I like the fact that this place is self-sufficient, you know? I mean, I like being on my own, like my privacy. Yeah, I bet you do. Look, all I'm saying is that this is a temporary thing, all right? I ain't gonna be bothering you or nobody else in your house. You won't even know I'm here. Well, that's impossible, Chad. Whitney's room is right next to this apartment. You have a common wall. I thought your pop said that this place was detached. Well, he meant that there's a separate entrance if you use the back stairs. But this wall is connected to the house and Whitney's bedroom. Well, since I ain't got a x-ray vision, you ain't got to worry. I just hope that wall is thick, because I like playing my music late at night. Well, just make sure you keep it low. No problem. I got some other things I gotta bring in. I'll help you. I can understand why you don't want Chad here. I mean, knowing the kind of guy he is, I certainly wouldn't want my sister to get involved with him. Well, Simone is so completely pig-headed. You know what? I think I'm going to tell my mom what you told me about Chad being the father of that girl's baby. My mom will have him out of here in a second. No, no, don't do that. I mean, as long as your parents have agreed to let him stay, why stir up trouble? He won't be here for long, I'm sure. Well, why do you think that? He won't be able to have a lot of girls up here living so close to your parents. You think he'll want to have girls up here? Tiffany spent a lot of nights at Chad's. Before she got pregnant, of course. And she wasn't the only one, from what I hear. He had a lot of girls, a real bachelor pad. 
Well, you know, he better not even try to pull anything like that here. Because my dad will throw him out so fast. I'm sure Chad knows that, too. Besides, I think he has something else on his mind. Like what? You heard what he said about playing his music late at night? So? I get the feeling that Chad thinks he can get to you with his music. What do you mean, get to me? You know, playing songs about love to romance you. No, okay, I don't think so. He definitely knows that I'm not interested. That's just it. Neither was Tiffany. But Chad kept pursuing her until she gave in. Really? You know, because that really doesn't sound like Chad. Just be careful. Because Chad knows you're not interested, and he might take that as a challenge. Hmm. Well, he'll be wasting his time. Because there's no way I want to have anything to do with him. Of course not. You're too smart. Right. All I'm saying is that I think he'll try. Well, it's definitely not going to happen. I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to drag Gwen away from her friends and get her someplace private. I just can't do this any longer. Oh, yeah. Just where do you think you're going? Well, actually, to talk to Gwen. I know how much you love her and how much you want to see her, but that's going to have to wait till tonight. Well, this can't wait. Well, it's going to have to. Look, her sorority sisters are throwing her a shower at the club today. You don't want her to miss that. Every bride deserves a shower. Teresa, don't let on, but we're making a big surprise shower at the club. You'll come too, won't you? I mean, the maid of honor has to be there. Teresa has a lot of work to do for Mrs. Crane. <laughs> the lar. Don't be ridiculous. I wouldn't dream of keeping Teresa here working. I've already told Gwen she can go to lunch with the girls, and... Ah, after all, the maid of honor does have to be at all the festivities. Thank you, Mrs. Crane, but well, maybe I should stay here and, and finish my work. <laughs> no, no, I want you to go. Have a good time. Gwen wants you to be there. You want everything perfect for Gwen, don't you? Of course, Mrs. Crane. And you go and have a wonderful time. And we'll see you at the party tonight. Come on, Teresa. Come on, Teresa. <laughs> this won't be long, Mrs. Hotchkiss, but I need to talk to Gwen before she goes. Oh, please, Ethan. The girls have gone to so much trouble for this surprise. You don't want to ruin it for her. You can talk to her later. I I'm sorry, but this can't wait. Oh, too late. They're on their way to the club. <laughs> Ethan, darling, really, I know you're anxious to be alone with your bride, but be patient. You'll have her all to yourself on your honeymoon, and then you'll have the rest of your life together. <laughs> yes, it's good news. Father, Sheridan isn't buying Luis's protestations. Excellent. As apparently the imposter we hired made a lasting impression. She can't forget what she saw. <laughs> yeah. Now that's out of the way. I think I'll head back to the house. I want you to stay right there. Sheridan and Luis aren't finished yet. Well, she doesn't believe him. She'll be tossing him out of the cottage in a moment. They're still talking, aren't they? They could still stumble onto the truth. Stay there, Julian, until we're sure. Luis, before that night, things were so good between us. I'd never met anyone like you. and I was so happy. So was I. So can't we get back to that place? I wish with all my heart that we could. Then just say it. Tell me you said those things. I won't even ask why, but I can't be with a man who lies to me. Just tell me that I'm not crazy. Tell me that I heard you say those things. We can forget all about this. And we can, we can get back to that sweetness that we once had. I need to know the truth. Okay, that's everything. This is Simone. Thanks for your help. Okay, you too. You're welcome. No problem. Okay, I guess I should uh get unpacked. Okay, well, Simone, come on, let's go. I'll be there in a minute. I'm sure Chad doesn't have food or anything. Why don't you go down and get him some things to tide him over? That's a great idea, Kay. Thank you so much.
for helping me with Chad, and I promise, as soon as we are a solid couple, I will do everything I can to help you with Miguel. I know. 